In this tutorial, we will learn how to create helix. To switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling. Then click on this unsaved view and select AC isometric. Then give the UCS icon command. UCS icon, enter, no origin. Then click on this draw and select helix. Then specify the center point of base. Then click for the base radius. Click for the top radius and click for the height. Make the ortho on for straight helix and give the height point. Then to fine tune this shape, double click on it and from here you can fine tune it. You can specify here the height. Then you can give here number of turns, how much you want. Then specify the base radius, specify the top radius. And if you want to create a taper helix, you will have to specify a radius lesser than or bigger than other radius. If I give it to, it will create a taper on the downward side. And if I give top radius as 1, it will create taper on the upper side. Suppose I will give it 3, 3. I will create a cylindrical helix. Then from here you can control the direction, whether you want it clockwise or counterclockwise. Then press escape. And if you want to create helix in different direction, then again give the helix command, click on draw, select helix, give the center point, then from here you can give the diameter for the base, click on diameter and specify the diameter, then give the top radius, then if you want to change the direction of the helix, click on this axis end point and you can choose the desired direction. Suppose I want a helix going on this side. Click there or give the height. Again by double clicking you can fine tune it. We will just copy this helix. Give the base point, give the second point. Enter. To create spiral from this helix double click on it and for spiral we will have to give the top radius of 0. Give 0, enter and height also will become 0, enter and you can specify the number of turns then close this dialog box and escape in this way you can create the spiral also using helix then if you want to create a helix on some path for that at first we will create one path we will create the path on this zy plane for that we will change the plane to right plane then create one path take the line command give the first point give the second point give the third point then enter then apply fillet, click on fillet, take the radius option, specify the radius, how much you want. Then select the first line, select the second line, then connect this path using join command. Click on this modify, join, select object, enter. Now this is converted into a single object. Then create one line here, specifying the radius of the helix. Suppose I want it to be 2.5, enter, enter. Then we will have to create this using surface options. Click on this surface and click on this sweep. Then select the object to sweep, then enter. Then here you will have to specify the twist. The twist value will be actually one twist will be 360 degree. Multiplying the 360 degree with the number of rotation will be the twist angle. Suppose I want to create a 10 twist, then you will have to give 3600 as a twist angle, then enter, click on the path and here it is created. You can view it, click on this home and click on this shaded. Now it is created like this, but I actually want the helix and not the surface. Click on this extract edges. Select the surface, enter, then give the erase command, E, enter, select the surface, we want to remove this surface, enter. And remove this internal path and other unwanted items. And here is the helix is created on specified path. If you want to convert this helix into spring or 3D object, then create one circle or whatever may be the shape of your spring, create that shape. Give the dimension. To convert this helix into spring of circular cross section, click on this arrow below the extrude and select sweep command. 
then select the object to sweep select this circle enter select sweep path select this helix and here the 3d helix is ready for some rod i want to cut this shape for that we will create one rod at first we will take this top plane and create one circle of 3 radius then we will press pull it and give the height then copy this helix take this center and put it on this quadrant and escape if i want to cut this shape from this use the subtract command click on this solid subtract select object to subtract from this rod enter select object to subtract enter in this way you can create a thread like shape using helix that's all thanks for watching we will stop here